Today I'll show you how you can properly disable lazy load in WordPress and we'll cover two different methods so you can pick the one that works best for you. By default, WordPress comes with lazy load features and this will delay the download of an image or a media for improving their page load speed. The problem is some websites, it actually messes it up and affects the user's experience by not displaying the images or the media in a right way. And you can tell if your site is having lazy load. This is our website. You can right click and click inspect to see this and you can just search for lazy or loading. And you see that it says that it's loading equals lazy and that's how you know that it's doing a lazy load. The first method we're going to do is by using code, which is okay. I promise it will, will actually have the code that you can use. So it'll be very easy for you to do. Now you can put this bit of code in say your functions.php page or something like that. Problem with that is if you change themes or if there's something wrong with it, then you're not really sure what you just did. That's why we always recommend using something like WP code. It's a plugin that allows you to add bits of code to your website so that you can reduce the amount of plugins that you need on your site. It also allows you to just keep all of this code in one location. So we can go to plugins, add new, and we're going to search for WP code. This is the one we want. It used to be called insert headers and footers, and you might have this on your site because it's one that we recommend all the time. So you want to click install and go ahead and activate the plugin as well. Once it's activated, you will see it here where you can go to code snippets, or if you ever need to come back from your WordPress dashboard, you now have code snippets right here. So we can go here and I'm just going to go to code snippets to show you what we see. So you see right here, I have a couple that I already have enabled from a previous video. You can come up here and click add new. And these are all of the code snippets that are already here. And so this is where I'm saying that you can replace a lot of other plugins by just having all this bits of code. If you need to say completely disable comments here, you can do that by using this bit of code. If you don't like automatic updates happening, you can do that here. So many things that you can do with this. And there's automatically 46 of them at the time of this video and showing you all the different types of snippets that you can do. But for this one, we're going to create a custom code. So we're going to say, add your own code snippet, say use snippet. And I'm going to give it a name and just say disable lazy load. It's always good to give it something that you understand what you're coming back to, understand what you did. So lazy load. And over on the right, we need to change this to PHP snippet. And I'll have a link in the description below for the tutorial, the written tutorial that has this bit of code in there that you'll want to take and put in here. And this is just adding a filter, just saying, let's turn off that lazy load feature. Let's clean it up a little bit. Now we have that in here. We want to scroll down and I'll show you where do you want to insert this? Because we want this to go across everything on our site, we're going to keep it at auto insert and let it run everywhere. Once we're happy with that, we want to come up to the right and say, let's go ahead and activate this and let's go ahead and save it. Now everything on our site should be disabled. And the fastest way to do that is I'm going to open up my site in a new tab. And I was on this page. So we can right click, inspect, and I'm going to control F to start searching for lazy. And now we don't have that lazy load is no longer coming up where it was before. So lazy load is disabled. Now method two is using a, another plugin. As I mentioned, WP code allows you to remove multiple plugins. And so you can reduce the number of plugins on your site, but you can also just add a plugin. And this plugin is specifically for doing this. It's called Disable Lazy Load Plugin. I'm going to set this to inactive. We'll go back to our site so I can show you that we have lazy load happening again. And you see loading lazy is back on there. So now we need to add a plugin instead. So we'll go back to plugins, add new. And this time we're going to search for disable lazy load. This is the one we want. Let's go ahead and install it. We'll activate it. And that's all you need to do. It works out of the box. Show you what it does. We go back to this one, go back to my inspect, do control F to search for lazy. And again, there's no more lazy load on any of the pictures.
And if you want to see a little bit more of what WP Code can do for you, watch this video next as I walk you through how to add headers and footer scripts in WordPress. And I'll see you over there.